Shivam Shukla is a graduate student in conservation biology at USF St. Petersburg. It's a field of study that fits because he says he can't remember a time when he didn't like snakes. I've always loved snakes, yeah. Really? So I kind of grew up, just, I grew up in Florida. Um, there was a big forest behind my house. I'd always go there and catch snakes. Here we have two eastern diamondback rattlesnakes. Now Shivam, whose nickname on campus is Snake Man, is turning this childhood fascination into an adult career studying these creatures. Snakes are really defensive creatures like most animals. Mm -hmm. So if they think that you're a threat to them, they're gonna, they're gonna defend themselves by biting. But Shivam says their fangs can't defend them from a pathogen called Ophiodomyces ophiodicola. It's a skin condition that can cause abnormal molting, cloudiness in the eyes, and a higher death rate in snakes. Studies show the fungal disease is becoming more prevalent in Florida's snake population. From some of our sample sizes, we're seeing between, you know, on the lower end, maybe 5% of the population that has it, of our sample size that has it. But in some sites, we have seen up to 20 to 25% of snakes that have it. While some people may not understand the significance of six snakes, Shivam says they play an important role in our ecology. They keep a lot of our rodent populations at bay. Um, without them, you would have a lot of pests going around as well as ticks. Hopefully my hands don't smell like rats. <laughs> <laughs> so as Shivam centers his master's thesis around not only studying, but saving these slippery serpents, he's also hoping to help save the delicate balance they create in our communities. When you, have, when you remove such an important animal from the food web, it causes a lot of cascading effects. That's why he believes his work here is critical. He hopes to finish his research in the spring and publish the findings and help others who are working to find ways to control this disease. In St. Petersburg, Trevor Pettifort, Spectrum News.